Hey guys, welcome back today on The Efficient Builder. Today we're going to be going over uh, kitchen cabinets, the installation of kitchen cabinets over top of LVP flooring. Uh, that is a vinyl plank flooring. One thing that you do not want to do is void your warranty on your brand new uh, LVP flooring. Okay, so one thing to not void the warranty, you are not able to install the cabinets on top of flooring, okay? But you can see here, it looks like I did install the cabinets on top of the flooring, which I did, okay? I did not know where my feet are gonna go until my cabinets get put in. I didn't wanna just butt my flooring up to the cabinets. I still wanted the flooring to go in underneath the cabinets all the way through. Okay, so I did want to install my flooring first and then do my cabinets, but here's the little trick that I'm going to be going over today of how to remove the floors underneath your cabinets. Now, no, not all cabinets are like these. These are uh, IKEA kitchen cabinets. Uh, however, these have feet. Again, not all cabinets have this. They have the full, uh, basically the toe kick at the bottom that the cabinet is resting on top of. So this trick would not work with regular cabinets. However, with regular cabinets, uh, then you need to install your flooring after the cabinets, okay? To me, I find it a little bit easier installing the flooring prior if you're able to, installing it prior, just so you have less cuts going around the cabinets, working around something like a island is much easier. Um, So I wanted to go ahead and install my floors first. So what we're gonna be going over today, again, is how to remove the floors from underneath the uh, feet here on the Ikea cabinetry. You can actually see here where I already did it, okay? So let's go ahead, let's show you guys how we do this. So first thing that I'm going to do here is mark around my feet. Just take a quick little permanent marker quickly mark a couple little dots all the way around. Once we have that done, I'm actually gonna take an extra Ikea foot since this also works as almost like a jack. If you've never done Ikea cabinetry before, these feet screw to adjust the cabinet up or down to level them out. So what we're going to do here is put this underneath and we're going to screw it up between the two cabinets okay that's just to support it and get the weight off of these feet here which will be cutting the floors out okay now that i have this leg in there i can go ahead screw these and get these removed okay got the feet out now what we're going to go ahead and do is start cutting the floors. What I'm actually using here is a um, just a DeWalt multi-tool. I actually have on there a sheetrock cutting blade. Uh, I just find it a little bit easier to cut and it fits underneath the cabinetry. So here we are going to go ahead and start cutting out the flooring. Let's see if I can move this around. Make it a little bit easier for you all to see.
Oh, my foot back there is a little bit in the way. What I'm gonna do is just switch and reverse my blade here. And then we're gonna make that last cut here. Now, what I like using is a chisel. Even a five and one is nice to use. Then I'm gonna first start off with the chisel and I'm gonna pry up these floors. I'm gonna tap the end of the chisel here with my hammer. Just to try to get underneath this to be able to pry. Let's see here. And you can see just like that, pop it right on out. Get out the whole piece of flooring. We'll go ahead and vacuum that again here really quick. Go ahead, take our feet. Screw these back in to we're just getting them snug since we have that temporary leg back there Supporting a lot of it. Okay, got that in there. Now we're gonna take the front. Got both legs in. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take out our temporary leg. Got that all done. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do, double check with our level. Make sure we did not adjust our cabinet tree. Checking it here. Everything is dead on perfect. Okay. So that's how you go ahead and cut up the floors for the feet. Okay, the reason why you have to do that because with LVP, of course it's a, you know, it's a vinyl, it's soft, it would squish, especially when you install the countertops on top of this. The weight coming down on those feet would literally smash this flooring. And what would happen is over time, you wouldn't notice it right away, but probably about a year, six months to a year after the install, this product here is going to compress. When it compresses, that material might be getting thinner, let's just say here, but over here it's gonna swell up, okay? The material has to go somewhere. So what would happen, especially in this scenario with an island, you have the feet of the island right there, okay? Coming down, you have these feet over here coming down. It's gonna compress that material on either side and cause the material to, to expand out, kind of like if you were to take Play-Doh and squish Play-Doh, you might make it like a pancake in the middle, but you'll notice usually the edges get a little bit fatter, okay? So here, what would end up happening is the floors would actually swell and bow up in the middle because it's not really so much of an expansion and contraction, it's more of compressing the material underneath the cabinets would then cause this center to bow up and all of this here would just lift up the actual floors. They might lift up a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. And then once that happens, nothing you can do to go ahead and fix it. So anyways, as you can see there, there's a foot before I did it. That's the one that we just did. Um, so anyways, I hope this tip helps. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, comment below, let me know your thoughts. Hope this helped you guys. We wanna make sure we don't void that warranty on your brand new LVP flooring. Thanks guys, take care.